And I feel like starting, I was gonna say, yeah, let's start seated. Let's start seated. I go down to my back, I might fall asleep. <laughs> oh, it's over here. I don't know why I keep putting this over there. It's over here. All right. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Remember, inhale, exhale. Soften the shoulders, relax your jaw. Notice any sounds outside of the room. Notice any sounds inside of the room. And then shift to your ujjayi breath, bringing your focus on the sound of your breath moving in and out. Mm. And keep my, my suggested intention for you today is to stay grounded, be connected, knowing that when you're grounded and centered, the world can be chaos around you and you can still be present, choosing your responses instead of reacting. But if you closed your eyes and you want to open them, open them. Let's start with stretching the neck, left hand to the right side of the head, right ear to left ear to left shoulder, stretching the right side of the neck. Keep tall, shoulder blades together, breathe. And then switch it out, bringing the right hand to the left side of the head, left right ear to right shoulder, stretching the left side of the neck. Keep your spine tall, try not to round the back. Breathing. Good. Come back to center. Bring your chin to your chest. And then look up at the bottom jaw in front of the top jaw. Chin to the chest. Look up, check the bottom jaw in front of the top jaw. Come back to center, inhale. Exhale, look to the right, hold on the inhale. Exhale, go a little deeper. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left, hold on the inhale. Exhale, go a little deeper. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Hold on the inhale. Exhale, go a little deeper. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Hold on the inhale. Exhale, go a little deeper. Come back to center. Switch out the legs. Bring your fingertips to your shoulders. Let's make circles with the elbows. Reverse the direction. Good. And then bring the arms out to a T and open the chest up to draw the shoulder blades together. Maybe look up, pucker your lips to the ceiling. Good. And then keeping the right arm out, bring the left hand to the chest, press 
uh, kind of more toward the shoulder. Press your hand into your chest and pull a bit. So you're kind of pulling the muscle as you reach your right arm back. Maybe look behind you. Keeping that motion, look to the left. Reverse it, bring the left arm out. Right hand on top of the left side of the chest. Press and pull with your right hand as you pull your left arm back. Maybe look behind with your head. And then keeping all of that going, look to the right. Good. Come back to center. Inhale the arms above the head. Exhale, cactus the arms. Open the heart. Keep the arms teed, looking forward, bring the elbows together. And then squeeze the shoulder blades together, open up the chest. Elbows together. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, open up the chest. Elbows together. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, open up the chest. Good. Then inhale the arms above the head. Right arm comes underneath the left. Inhale, lift the elbows up. Exhale, elbows come down. Inhale, lift the elbows up. Exhale, elbows come down. Inhale, lift the elbows up. Exhale, elbows come down. Unwind the arms. I'm going to turn around. Bring your hands behind your back and bring the right arm back first and then the left arm, and then um, just grab either the forearms or the opposite elbows and roll the shoulders back. And then maybe look up and puck your lips to the ceiling. Just opening up your heart here. And then release that. Arms to the sky. Left arm underneath the right for eagle arms. Lift the elbows up. Elbows come down. Lift the elbows up. Elbows come down. Lift the elbows up. Elbows come down. And then bring the left arm behind and then the right arm on top of that. And grab. But you can roll the shoulders back, look up, maybe puck your lips to the ceiling. That's it. Good. Release that. Shake out the arms. Shake out the wrists. Good. <clears throat> and then let's move to child's pose. Moving to child's pose. Soften your shoulders, soften your hips. Soften the knees. Inhale. Exhale. No effort here. Just let the pose do its magic, the shape of the pose, without any effort. Let them walk the hands back to tabletop. Nice wide fingers. Cat cow. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Round the back, chin to the chest. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Neutral spine. Let your hips come to the right heel and then just hold here. Maybe bow your ribs out to the right. Come back to center, let your hips come to the left heel. Hold there, maybe bowing your ribs out to the left. 
Come back to center. Let your hips come to the right. Hold there. Reaching the right hip toward the right heel. Come back to center. Hips come to the left, reaching your hip toward the left heel. Come back to center. Now we start the full circles. Right hip to right heel. Sweep around to the left and come back up. Right to the left. Right to the left. Continuing on like that. And then next time you bring shoulders over the wrists, reverse the direction, left to right. Left to right. <clears throat> Good. Then come back to center, two cat cows. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. <clears throat> Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. <clears throat> then come back to child's pose, but make sure your knees are wide. Maybe bringing the knees to the um to the edges of the mat, stretching long, getting a gentle stretch in the hips here. Hopefully, maybe it's a more of an intense stretch. If it is, adjust the knees to where you need them to be. And then again, let the shape of the pose just do its thing. Good. And walk your hands over to the right, placing one hand on top of the other, stretching the left side of the torso, pulling back on the left hip, breathing into the left ribs. Breathe. Good. Come back to center. Find your child's pose. Notice if the left side feels different than the right. And then walk your hands over to the left. Placing one hand on top of the other. Hands are off the mat. Breathing into the right ribs, feeling the right side of the torso stretching, pulling back on the right hip, breathe. Come back to center. And compare the right to the left now. Maybe they feel better, more, more equal, maybe not. Good. Bring the, come back to tabletop. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Find your neutral spine. We're going to just do a little bit here to engage our core. So wide fingers. Flip the toes, engage your core, and lift the knees up. Squeeze the ribs together, lift the belly, breathe, and then come down. Stretch the right leg back, ball of the foot on the earth, so you're stretching your calf first. And engage your core and lift the right leg, Moving into bird dog pose, maybe bring the left arm forward. Breathe. Good. Bring that hand down, bring the knee down. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Table top. Bring the left leg back, all of the foot on the earth. Pressing the heel back. Breathe. Keeping the core engaged. 
Squeeze the core, bring the left leg up. And then bring the right arm forward, bird dog, breathe. Keep the core engaged. Use your breath. Good, bring the hand down, bring the knee down. <clears throat> Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Find your neutral spine. Find high plank. Find down dog. And pedal out the legs. Pedaling the legs out. Good. Release the neck. Wide fingers, drawing the heart toward the leg, or legs, I should say. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward and wide for ragdoll. Bringing hands to opposite elbows, letting the torso hang, maybe rock side to side. Lift the sit bones up a bit, feeling a stretch in the back of the legs. This is our first stretch, really, in the back of the legs. Maybe notice how tight it is. Or maybe it's not tight, <laughs> minor tight. Release the hands to the mat. Heel toe the feet, big toes to touch. Or hip width apart. Engage the legs, engage your core, let your arms dangle and swing. So we've already kind of opened the arms up a bit, but this is just nice to lubricate them some more. Reverse the direction. Create some space in that joint. This is like ragdoll for your arms. And then slowly work your way up to standing. Let's roll the shoulders back a few times. And then roll both shoulders back. Shine your palms forward. Chest open, feet connected, kneecaps lifted, belly lifted, head lifted, shoulders soft, jaw soft. Exhale. Take an inhale. Exhale. Let's do that again. Inhale. Exhale down to the feet. Feet stay grounded. Inhale the arms up to the sky, mountain pose. Exhale, cactus the arms, open the heart. Inhale the arms to the sky, mountain pose. Right hand slides down, left arm reaches over. Maybe let your head hang. Keep your left foot planted. Keep your right shoulder soft. Reach with the left elbow. Maybe open up the heart a bit. Now really squeeze your core. Inhale the arms back up to the sky. Left arm slides down. Right arm reaches over, reaching from the elbow. Left shoulder is soft. Right foot is planted. Belly lifted, ribs together. Maybe let the head hang. Inhale the arms to the sky, mountain pose. Exhale, interlace the hands behind the back. Draw the fist down, open the heart, and then fold, letting the interlaced fingers fall forward. Reaching the fist up to the ceiling. Release the hands to the mat, forward fold. Bend the knees as much as you need to to bring ribs and thighs together. Bring forearms and palms behind the calves or wrap your arms behind your knees. Lift your hips up, squeeze the belly as you use your arms to draw your torso down. Release your neck. You're trying to feel a stretch in the back of the legs here. Move the weight to the ball of the feet. Lift the sit bones up a little bit more. Squeeze the belly button to the spine. Hands to the mat. Come down into a squat. Draw your nose towards your knees. Now, keeping your nose towards your knees, lift your hips up until you stop drawing your heart towards your legs. You're getting a stretch in the back of the legs again. 
and then come down into a squat. Draw the nose to the knees. And then lift the hips, drawing the heart toward the legs. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Draw your shoulder blades down your back. Exhale, forward fold. Step. Oh, excuse me, the left foot back, low lunge. Straighten the light, right leg. Draw your nose towards your knee. Feeling an even deeper stretch in the back of the right leg. Bend the knee. Left hand stays down. Right arm comes up to a twist. Breathing here. Good. Bring that hand down. Adjust the back foot. Inhale into crescent. Scissor the legs toward each other, feeling a stretch in the front of the left hip. Pressing the right heel into the mat, soften the shoulders. Good. Look, now eagle arms on the left. Left arm comes underneath the right. Straighten the front leg, lift the elbows up. Bend, elbows come down. Straighten the front leg, lift the elbows up. Bend. Elbows come down. Straighten, lift the elbows up. Bend, elbows come down. Unwind the arms. Look to the right. Open arm twist to the right. Hold the twist. Right hand comes to the lower back. Left arm to the sky. Release the arms up. Crescent. Hands to the mat. Low lunge, <clears throat> step the back foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, draw your shoulder blades down the back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale the arms to the sky, mountain pose. Exhale, cactus the arms, open the heart. Inhale the arms to the sky, mountain pose. Feel your feet grounded to the earth. Right hand to the hip, left arm reaches over. Trying to feel more space between the hip and the ribs. Inhale the arms to the sky. Left hand comes down, right arm reaches over. I'm sorry, left hand on the hip, right arm reaches over. Keep the right foot planted. Try to feel even more space between the bottom rib and the hip. Inhale the arms to the sky, mountain pose. Exhale, interlace the hands behind the back, the awkward way. Draw the fist down, open the heart, fold. Letting the interlaced fingers fall forward. Reach your fist up to the sky. Release the hands to the mat, forward fold. Come down into a squat, draw your nose towards your knees. Lift the hips, keeping your heart as close to the legs as possible. Draw your nose towards your knees. Bend the knees. Coming down, nose to the knees. And then lift the hips, drawing the heart toward the legs. Inhale, halfway lift, draw your shoulder blades down the back. Exhale, forward fold. Step the right foot back, low lunge. Straighten the left leg, round your back toward the knee. Feeling a stretch in the leg, holding here in the back of the left leg. Then bend the knee, right hand stays down, left arm comes up to a twist. Bring that hand down, adjusting for crescent. Inhale up into crescent. Good, scissor the legs toward each other, belly engage. Eagle arms on the right, right arm comes underneath the left. Straighten the front leg, lift the elbows up. Bend, elbows come down. Straighten, lift the elbows up. Bend, elbows come down, 
Straighten, lift the elbows up. Bend, elbows come down. Unwind the arms to the sky, crescent. Pressing the left heel into the earth. Look to the left. Open arm twist to the left. Hold the twist. Left hand comes behind. Right arm to the sky. Exalted crescent. And then arms to the sky. Crescent. Release the hands to the mat. Forward fold. Step the front foot back. High plank. And then down dock. I'm going to do that two more times. Inhale up to high plank. Exhale down dog. Inhale up to high plank. Exhale down dog. Bring the right leg up to the sky. Exhale low lunge. Drop the back knee. We're moving into runner's lunge. Heel toe your foot to the edge of the mat. Hands on the mat. Yeah, let's go ahead and do some, some arms. I wasn't going to do it, but why not? Draw it. Bring your forearms. Turn your hands in 45 degrees. Bend the elbows. Look to the right. Come up. Bend the elbows. Look to the left. Come up. So the elbows are going out to the sides. Bend the elbows, look to the right. Bend the elbows, look to the left. Turn your hands forward. Stay here on your palms or come down onto your forearms. It's up to you. Your right foot stays flat or you can flex it if the knee is kind of falling out to the side. Look straight down. Then spider tip walk your right hand forward, getting a stretch in the right side of the body. Good. Come back to center. Bring the hand back. Come up onto your hands if you're on your forearms. Swim an arm back. Capture the left foot. Draw your heel toward your glute. And let your hips sag forward a bit, getting a stretch in the right, left quadriceps. Good. Then drop that leg. Lift the back knee. Step the front foot back. High plank. And then down dock. Inhale to high plank. Exhale to down dock. Inhale to high plank. Exhale to down dog. Bring the left leg up to the sky. Low lunge. Drop the back knee. Heel toe the foot to the edge of the mat for runner's lunge. Both hands on the mat. Turn the fingers in 45 degrees. Bend the elbows. Look to the left. Come back up. Bend the elbows, look to the right, come back up. Bend the elbows, look to the left, come back up. Bend the elbows, look to the right, come back up. Turn the fingers forward. Stay here or come down to your forearms. Make sure your left foot is flat or you're flexing your foot to protect your knee. One or the other, flat on the earth or flexing it hard so that you're protecting your knee. And then spider tip, walk your left arm forward. Getting a stretch on the left side of the body. Breathe. Good. Bring the hand back. Come up onto the hands. If you're on your forearms, swim an arm back. Capture your right foot, draw the heel toward the glute. Let your hips sag forward, getting a deep stretch in the quadriceps. Breathe. Good. Release that. Um, flip the back toe, lift the back knee, step the left leg back, high plank. 
down dog, drop down to child's pose. Give yourself a little break here. You want to stretch your forearms here, or your forearms, the backs of the arms by bending the elbows and bringing the thumbs to the back of the neck you can. Breathe. Good. Get a drink of water when you're ready. And then we'll meet in down dock. Inhale, look forward, using the right foot first, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, inhale, the arms to the sky, exhale, hands to the heart. We're going to do figure four and then moving into tree. Figure four to start opening up the glutes and then tree, moving into tree for balance. So find your dristi, ground your feet. Inhale the arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart. Bend the knees, moving into chair pose. Weight is in the heels, reaching the hips back. Right foot comes on top of the left foot. Breathing here, reaching back with the hips and then sitting down into it. Keep your right foot flexed. Good. Then straighten the leg, bring the right knee up and find tree. Well done. Breathing tall, belly lifted. That's it. Be in the moment, being grounded. And then big toes to touch. Equal out the weight in the feet. Good. Bend the knees. Left foot comes on top of the right thigh. Flexing the left foot. Sitting back and down into it with your hips. Belly lifted. Use your dristi. Use your breath. Good. And then straighten the leg, bringing the left knee up and move into tree. Nicely done. Breathe here. Use your breath. Use your dristi. Being grounded in the standing foot. And then release. Big toes to touch. Inhale the arms above the head. Exhale, hands to the heart. Grounding down into the feet. Inhale the arms above the head. Exhale, hands to the heart. Good. Inhale the arms to the sky, mountain pose. Exhale, cactus the arms, open the heart. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. 
Step the left foot back, low lunge. Let's walk around into a wide leg forward fold. So walking to the left, finding a wide leg forward fold, drawing the heart between the legs. Inner thighs roll back. Good. And then hands, arms parallel or hands to the hips come up. Good. Then you're going to turn your toes out. Bring your hands to your heart and bend down into horse. Weight is um, lift the arches. Draw the knees back. Belly lifts. Straighten the arms to the sky, or bring the arms to the sky, straighten the legs. Exhale, hands to the heart, bend the knees. Again, lift the arches, knees reach back, belly lifts. Straighten the legs, bring the arms to the sky. One more time, hands to the heart, bend the knees. Straighten, bring the arms to the sky. Turn the toes in again, arms parallel, puff up the heart, fold. Drawing the heart between the legs. Good. Walk your hands to the right, finding low lunge. Adjust the back foot for warrior one. Inhale up to warrior one. So the legs toward each other, soften the shoulders, lift the belly, lift the arch of the back foot. Look to the right, open arm twist to the right. Bring the arms to the sky. Interlace the hands behind the back. Draw the fist down, open the heart, humble warrior. Good. Reach the fist up to the sky. Release the hands to the mat. Now pay attention. We're moving into half pigeon. So you're going to heel toe your foot. If you need to come onto your back and do figure four, you're going to heel toe your foot to the edge of the other edge of the mat. Adjust the back foot and work your way into your half pigeon. Reaching the hips back. Drawing the heart toward the ground, scissor the legs together, breathe. <sighs> breathe. Let your forehead relax on something. Use your breath. Maybe scoot your left leg back. Or, and then draw your heart to the ground a bit more. Scissor the legs towards each other. Breathe. Then come up onto the hands. Flip the back toe. Lift the back knee. Step. Or bring the um, right leg up to the sky. Open the hip up. Let the leg fall to the left. Breathe. Good. And then down dog. Good. Relax the head. Inhale, look forward. Using the left foot first. Step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step the right foot back, and then walk around into a wide leg forward fold. <laughs> wide leg forward fold. Breathe. Find the heart between the legs. And then squeeze the core. Inhale, come up. <clears throat> Good. 
Bring the hands to the heart, turn the toes out. Moving into horse, bend the knees, drawing the knees toward the back. So you're squeezing your glutes here, lifting the arches of the feet, belly lifted. Straighten the legs, bring the arms to the sky, inhale. Exhale, come back down into horse, hands to the heart, bending the knees, belly lifted. Straighten the legs, bring the arms back up to the sky. Exhale, hands to the horse. Hands to the heart, moving into horse. One more time, straighten the legs, bring the arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to the heart, bending the knees, moving into horse. Hold, knees reaching back, arches lifted, belly lifted, shoulders soft. Sink down into it just a little bit more. Straighten the legs. Bring the arms to the sky. Turn the toes forward. Arms parallel. Puff up the heart. Wide leg forward. Fold again. Drawing the heart between the legs. Release the neck. Good. That's it. And walk your hands around to the front, low lunge. So the left foot is forward, right foot is back. Adjust the back foot for warrior one. Inhale up to warrior one. Find your warrior one feet. Get grounded into your feet, belly engaged. Look to the left. Open arm twist to the left. Look forward, arms to the sky. Oh, excuse me, interlace the hands behind the back the awkward way. Draw the fist down, open the heart. Humble warrior. Sit. Lift the fist up to the sky. Good. Release the hands to the mat. Remember, we're moving into half pigeon. So heel toe your foot over to the opposite side of the mat. Let the knee come down to the other side. Draw the leg back. Open up the heart. Find your half pigeon. Breathing here. your forehead relax on something. Breathe. Maybe scoot your right leg back. Maybe draw your heart toward the ground a bit more. Breathe. Scissor the legs toward each other. Then come back up onto the hands. Lift the back toe, lift the back knee. Bring the uh, left leg up to the sky. Let the leg fall to the right. Breathe. That's it. Keep the left hand planted. And then down, down. <clears throat> Take a big inhale. And an exhale. This is our last down dog. Big inhale. Exhale. Hinge forward to high plank and lower yourself all the way down onto your belly. We're going to do alligator, which is a chest opener. We've been opening up shoulders and hips the whole time. That's our goal, shoulders and hips. So bring your arms out to a T so that the palms are down. Left arm stays down. 
Let your right hip stack on top of the left and bring that foot behind you, right arm can come behind you kind of in a bind if you want. Or if you're feeling kind of sassy, you can grab your foot and move into a bit of a dancer leg there. The goal though is to stretch the front of the left shoulder, breathe. That's it. And then come down, bring the arms out to a T, find neutral, keep the right arm down, palm down, left hip stacks on top of the right, left foot comes behind the right leg, making a triangle with your leg. The left arm can come behind you like a bind. Or if you're feeling sassy, you can capture the foot like a dancer leg, breathe. Good. That's it. One more breath, feeling the stretch in the right shoulder, front of the right shoulder. And then come down, palms to the mat, push yourself back into child's pose. Maybe have the knees together to help open up the back. <sighs> Just rest here in this child's pose. Feeling the shoulders, feeling the hips. Maybe bring the knees out wide, moving into that wide knee child's pose again. And notice how your hips feel here. And then walk the hands back to seated. Let the hips come to one side. Let the legs come long in front. Let's do one seated forward fold because it's a daily pose and it's good for us. Inhale the arms up and fold. Drawing your heart towards your toes. One more good stretch in the back of the legs. Good, then maybe round the back, drawing the nose toward the knee. And walk the hands back. Let the arms long in front. Slowly lower down onto your back. Bring your knees into your chest. Rock side to side. It circles with the knees together. Reverse the direction. Then place your feet on the mat, grab a block. We're gonna do restorative bridge. Grab your block, place it under your hips, and then just relax here. Arms out to a T. Breathing here. Your breath. Soften your shoulders. Soften your jaw. Ten seconds. Five, 
on and then with the hips up move the block hips come down straighten the legs out find just a little mini savasana here let the body settle you rock the head to side, side, side to side. We're still going to do wind removing pose and a spinal twist, but I want your body to have this reset here. Let something go. Good. Wind removing pose. Bring the right knee into the chest. Interlace the fingers on top of the shin. Drawing the knee in. Maybe move the ankle around, getting all the creaks and crackles out. Holding here, relax the neck, relax the jaw. Spinal twist, let the knee come across the body. Tee the arms out, look to the left, or look to the right, I'm sorry, breathing here. Something go. Bring the knee back to center. Bring both knees into the chest and squeeze. Rock side to side. Interlace the fingers on top of the left shin, right leg long. Opposite interlace of the fingers, if you can remember. Wind removing pose. Neck relaxed. Jaw soft, head heavy, shoulders soft, pressure in the left hip crease. And then spinal twist, let the tee the arms out, let the knee come across the body. Maybe look to the left, breathing here. the knee back to center. Bring both knees into the chest and squeeze. Rock side to side. Make circles with the knees together. Reverse the direction. And then happy baby. Flattening the lower back to the mat. Shoulders soft. Breathing. Head heavy in this happy baby. And then bring the knees into the chest. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself a hug. Saying yes to yoga today and then release into your final savasana. Getting pillows, blankets, eye pillows, bolsters, whatever it is you need. Drink some water. Once you've found your savasana, notice anywhere that's resisting or tight, move those areas. Maybe it's the neck, maybe it's the jaw, maybe it's the shoulders, maybe it's the lower back. Do whatever you need to do. Let your body find that calm and peace, that stillness. 
and take an inhale. Exhale, let the collarbones widen and the shoulders surrender to the earth. The arms be heavy. The back of the neck soften. Let the head be heavy. The lower back soften, let the hips be heavy, the legs heavy. Feel everywhere the back of the body is resting on the earth. Give it permission to surrender and release deeper. It'll become heavier on the mat. to the body softens. Fingers and toes soft. Belly soft. Render. Surrender. Three minutes of asana here. Opening up when the time comes. Surrender. Surrender.
Keeping the eyes closed. Gently begin to bring your awareness back into the room. Noticing any sounds in the room. Feeling the air in the room. Keeping the eyes closed. Gently begin to bring your awareness back to the body. Feeling the earth beneath you, the clothing on your skin. And then gently begin to wake up the body. Wiggling fingers, wiggling toes, rocking the head side to side. When you're ready, Bring your arms above your feet and give yourself a nice good morning start. And then place one foot on the earth and then the other and roll to one side using your arm as a cushion for your head. And then gently push yourself up to a seated position. And we'll take a couple breaths together. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Further inhale. Exhale. May you be happy. May you be happy. May you find joy. May you find peace. May you feel safe. May you be free from suffering. Nice.